All right, now we're going to use the integer game number lines and equations. Now, in, in our defense for integer game, really all we're doing is using cards, okay? So the idea here is that in the Common Core book, they will be given two cards. So they'll even illustrate two cards. So for example, here, they would have positive 9 and negative 4. Okay. And they want the students to illustrate this on a number line and to come up with an equation as well with, as an answer. So what happens when I take a positive 9 and I combine it with a negative 4? Okay. So first thing is the number line. All right. So we're going to draw our number line. We're going to do little tick marks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Whew. Okay. So what happens here is that anytime you have a positive, you're going to be drawing an arrow to the right. So I have positive nine. Now from there, I'm going to now come backwards four. So let's make sure I line up. So one, two, three, four. So we want this to line up. So now I'm coming backwards four. Okay. So a positive nine, negative four in cards looks like a positive nine, negative four. So this whole arrow is nine. This whole arrow is a negative four. And where it ends up at is the final answer of five. So our net result of five. Okay. So what the Common Core textbook is going to have them do is go ahead and write an equation. So that equation is 9 plus negative 4 equals 5. So equation means the problem you're solving and the answer. All right, let's try one more example because they go pretty quick. So let's say that I have, let's see what my next cards are. A negative 3, a positive 4, and a negative 6. So let's say we're doing three cards. So negative 3, positive 4, and a negative 6. All right, on my number line, I'm going to start off by going negative 3 backwards. Okay, so negative 3 backwards. And then from there, I'm going to go a positive 4. So now I'm going to go from there. I'm going to go, I'm going to write it down below so I have more room. I'm going to go positive 4, okay, and then from there, my last card says I'm going to go backwards 6, so from there, I'm going to go back 6, so if I start here now and go back 6, it's going to land me at negative 5, okay, so my arrows are back 3, from there, go positive 4. From there, go backward 6. So my equation is negative 3 plus 4 plus negative 6. All of that equals negative 5. All right. So the cards lead to the arrows, leading to the net result of our answer. And then we write it all as an equation. All right, there is integer game number lines with equations.